In this video, I'm going to show you how we can create coin that we can collect and how we can store those information into a separate script that will uh, use a new feature in Godot that is called static variable. I'm going to show you how to configure a script that can be accessed by all the nodes that you have in your game and how you can store information in it. So let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is I want to uh, create an object that I can collect and that will change my player data. So for that, we're going to create a coin uh, and that's what we're going to do now. So I'm going to click on the plus right here. I'm going to look, uh, clicking on the plus there, I'm going to look for an area 2D. And that area 2D is going to hold a sprite. It's going to also hold a collision shape. That collision shape is going to be a circle and it's also going to have an animation player like this that animation player i'm going to rename it anim and so now i have all the basic that area 2d i'm going to rename it coin and now i'm going to click on the sprite 2d and i'm going to go into my sprite folder interactable here and i'm going to just get my coin uh, my coin sprite sheet put it here you can find that on my uh, itch.io, so you can uh, you can download it there. Uh, so now we have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, so I need to go to animation, H frame, I put eight. And so now we're just gonna make the animation quickly. So I'm gonna go here, animation, new, and I'm gonna create only one active. And I am gonna frame, I'm gonna keyframe those uh, those um, images so here I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna keyframe that I think I have a double let's see yes I have a double right here so I'll just delete it and bring that back so now I am it's stopping at dot eight so here I need to put dot eight I need to put that on loop so that now now let's have a look okay it loops perfectly Perfect. So now we have that, uh, I can uh, start to uh, create uh, my script, but first I just need to adjust the collision shape. So I'm just gonna go here on my collision shape and I'm just gonna grab that handle right here and I'm gonna do something like this. I'm not gonna put it too big because I really want the player to uh, collide with uh, the, the coin. So now I'm gonna create a script. I'm gonna click on a coin. The, uh, the the um, script icon here and I'm gonna just put it into my script folder interactable coin and so here the only thing I need to do is I just need to connect the signal so for that I click on coin go to node and if body entered so the body gonna be the player I'm gonna connect it on coin and here we're gonna say if body dot name double equal player then we want to queue free. That's it. So now I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna save that scene into my scene folder, interactable, and I'm gonna save that here. Voila. And I can uh, just completely uh, remove those two functions. I don't need it. So now that's good. So let's have a look now. I'm gonna go to main level. I'm gonna go to 2D. I'm gonna bring my coin here. So I'm gonna go here, coin, I'm gonna resize the coin because it's a bit too big. So I'm gonna just come here, coin inspector, and on transform, I think I'm gonna put dot five. I think it should be fine. Let's see. Yeah, it's already a bit better. And the only thing I need to do that I haven't done yet is like on anim, I need to put my animation, my only animation, I need to put it on auto load. So like this, it plays automatically. So now let's have a look. My coin is here, and if I go there, I'm going to be able to collect it. Voila, perfect. So now what I want to do is I want to uh, be able to register the number of coins uh, I have collected. For that, uh, now with Godot 4.1, we have something we can use that is called static variable. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to script, and here on script, I'm going to go here to file, to new script, and I'm going to create a new script that I'm going to call player underscore data. And that player data, I'm going to save it into my script folder uh, and I'm going to actually create a folder that I'm going to call player, something like this. And I'm going to put that, um, that uh, player data in that folder. I'm going to save, 
click on create and so now i have this so now uh, that script gonna be uh, in um, in charge of holding all the data that my player need to have from scene to scene and so for example my, my the, the, the amount of coin that i have the amount of life that i have etc so here what i want to do is i want to have that script that is accessible from every script in the game so for that i'm gonna create a static variable uh, i'm gonna create a static script and then static variable to create uh, a static variable you need to give your cell your class uh, a class name so here we need to tap class underscore name and that class name gonna be player underscore data and now here I can create a static variable by tapping static var and then give them a, a, a name so coin and for example here coin I can put it to zero per default and so now what I can do is I've, because I've created this way and I saved right now, I can go to my coin script. And here, uh, when my player is entering uh, into the area of my coin, then I can uh, connect to the script I've just created right here to that variable coin. For that, I just need to go to my coin uh, script and here I need to say uh, player data, you can see that now it is suggested, dot coin plus equal one and then i can print i can print my player data dot coin so now let's have a look i'm gonna go back to my scene my main level scene i'm gonna get that coin why that coin is like uh, that coin is like child of the camera that's not what i was looking to do so i'm gonna put it here and so now uh, that uh, coin i'm gonna duplicate it so for that i'm tapping ctrl d and i'm gonna move this one here and i'm gonna also duplicate this one and i'm gonna put it right here and so now let's have a look i'm gonna launch the game and here, when I'm connecting, when I'm collecting the coin, it should print one, two, three. So let's see. I come here, one. You can see it print one. Then here it print two, and then here it print three. And so now I can close. So now I have been able to uh, just get all those uh, data uh, by having one script that hold them all. And so if I was changing uh, from a scene to scene, for example, let's say that there is a house here and I'm entering into it, I will keep my uh, coin data, which is what I want. So this is the basic of using um, static variable uh, and creating collectible in Godot. And we're gonna continue to uh, create more things with the static variable. We're gonna st uh, start to create a live system for our player. And we're gonna do that in the next video.